It's done. Finally. It's taken probably 40, 50 hours worth of work. Uh, if you want to check a bunch of live streams, I streamed like probably 20 to 30 hours of this creation process. But finally, the ultimate, perfect, greatest, ultra, bestest system in the world when it comes to Linux has finally been created. And I'm not talking about some distribution because screw distributions. We don't need no stinking distributions. That's not proper English. But what you do need is this script. I've written it. I feel so confident in this script. Look, well, you know what? Let's just wipe out this entire system. Because guess what? The script sets all of this. It does it all. And you might be thinking, well, how in the hell do I run this thing, Titus? I'm glad you asked. Simply, go to this GitHub. Oh, that, that, that is GitHub, but it's very, very bright. But anyways, made a new project called Arch Titus. All of the time and effort has been put into this. I made an entire script on how to do it. Basically, all you need to do, download this ISO from Arch Linux, because I'm not making a new distro. Linux already has enough distros. You don't need another one. So just download this torrent or just come down into your country of origin and download it from here. Put that on a thumb drive and go. I already have it on a Vintoy based thumb drive, but you could use Etcher, you could use Rufus, whatever you do to make bootable media on a thumb drive, just grab it. I got mine right here. We're just gonna toss it on here. And guess what? This, this entire ISO is like less than one gig. So you got no excuses. Put it on here. I recommend Vintoy, but whatever you wanna use to make your, your image, Go ahead and make it. So you got your Arch Linux on there, and you might be thinking, wait a second, that's that's hard mode. That is difficult Linux. Because there was a, a, a thing that Linus Tech Tips you know shared lately, and it was this beginner, medium, and hard mode. Guess what? This isn't hard mode. This is one command, you run it and go. So you've made your media. It's Arch Linux. We're going to install hard mode right now. We're just going to hit F8 on our Asus startup here. And from our menu, we're going to select our thumb drive, boot into our Vindhoi uh, bootable media, select Arch Linux, and go into this. I said one command, and really this is a little more than typing in some stuff, but if you type exactly what I show you, my script takes care of the rest. So even though this may look complex, it's actually pretty simple. The first command, and it's rather simple. I'm actually going to blow this up real fast and then clear the screen. All right, I made the font bigger just so you can see what I'm typing. But the first command you want to type is pacman sy, it's dash sy, and then git, because we want to access that git project. And we'll say enter. You don't even have to type Y for that. It just automatically hits enter. And then we're just going to clone git space clone and then https github.com chris titus tech arch titus. Boom. It's already cloned all of the thing because it's just simple scripts. Now we're going to change directory and go into this script. Don't worry. Hang with me. It's about to get a lot easier. And then we just type arch titus. And then from here, dot forward slash arch tight, or just type arch and then hit the tab bar to complete and enter. This will launch the script. We're done. And now it installs all of arch for you. Now, you might be thinking, well, why is this a big deal? Well, arch Linux can be a little cumbersome to set up. This will format install every package that I use on a day-to-day -day basis, including gaming, the entire nine. Graphics card drivers, don't worry, it detects you're using NVIDIA, it installs NVIDIA drivers. If you're using AMD, it installs AMD. Don't have either because of graphics card shortages? Ugh. Don't worry, it installs your integrated graphics as well. So we got all of this, and I'll walk through the script as it installs here. This does take about 20 minutes to run end to end, and it does ask about three or four questions. The first question is, what drive are you gonna put it on? Now for me personally, I'm gonna put it on my NVMe drive. So you're gonna do forward slash dev forward slash, and then usually most systems will just have one, maybe two drives, 
Usually that's SDA or SDA, SDB. But we're gonna do an NVMe drive sitting on my motherboard and we're just gonna do this. Make sure you don't do the partitions. Like obviously like SDA one, that's a partition, don't do that. You want the actual device. Uh, for me, I'm doing NVMe E1 N1. Yes to format. This will erase everything. So do not click yes if you don't want everything on this device to get erased. If you're unsure, don't proceed. But there we go. We are ready to format. And now let's just sit back, uh, speed this up about 20x, and just enjoy the show as it formats, installs everything. And don't worry, I did something special here with the downloads. A regular person installing Arch, this might take quite a bit longer, but I did parallel downloading. We also did a shift to where it picks the greatest servers in your area. So I'm in the US, it automatically auto chooses US based on where I launched this command and it starts installing. So uh, th there's a lot of optimization to this install. So you, you'll see it install a lot quicker than most people installing Arch. But let's sit back and enjoy. Now at this stage, it's been running for about one minute and we're actually ready to reboot into a live environment. If we were just doing server work, we'd already be there. But we're gonna select our user. I'm gonna call my user Titus, you call yours whatever. And then we just enter our password. I'm gonna just use a really secure password here and hit enter. This will make my user, it'll assign my password and it'll install all the rest of the packages. Uh, as far as the rest of the prompts, I think we only have one, maybe two more prompts. But let's see. 20 minutes later. And now that brings us to our final thing. We've been running for a little under 15 minutes here. If you had a faster internet connection than 100 megabits, that's what I'm running right now. It's going to probably finish a lot faster than what this did. Uh, but for now, it's a little under 15 minutes for the complete run. At the end here, it does ask KDE Plasma or other. You just always want to type one to this. And this just imports our theming. And then we just simply type reboot at this prompt to reboot into our manager. Here's the initial boot into our new drive and we simply type our password in and hit enter. And here is our desktop, as you saw just at the very beginning. We have all the transparency effects. Everything is set as default. You have a gorgeous looking desktop and guess what? You're not on some obscure distro to get all this stuff. You have every package that I use. Uh, let's say I was gonna do my thumbnails. I'll just type GIMP in and guess what? GIMP's already installed for that. Or let's say you needed to jump on a conference call, you launch your browser, which I personally use Brave, uh, and then you launch Zoom, because guess what? The Zoom client's already installed. All these things. I know that's a little cringy for some Linux folks that like to pick other packages, but the beauty of all this is it's all open source. And if you are a Linux vet watching this video, fork my project, remove the packages you don't like, add your uh, packages in, and it's all done. It's just perfect. I absolutely love this setup, and I honestly don't even care that I wiped everything out because everything is as it was. All my shortcuts are the exact same. Holding the Windows key or the Meta key, moving left and right, going up maximizes, and Meta Q quits all my applications. If I wanna launch my Explorer, Meta E or Windows key E launches that, Meta Q to quit, Meta B to launch Brave Browser, all these things, all these at, at your fingertips. And you might be thinking, well, how in the world do I install packages now, Titus? There's no easy package manager like all those big name distros on Linux with the easy click installs. Well, just use terminal. Honestly, if you're gonna be in Linux, just get used to terminal. Uh, that's I know that's not what some people want to hear, but for real. Uh, just yay, S-Y-U, that command right there updates the entire system. So if we just run that, it'll update the system. Obviously, it's already up to date because the script does all of that for you. Uh, let's say you want a Discord. We'll just type yay s Discord. And it says, hey, Discord package is there. It'll go and install Discord for us. That's it. There's no going to the website, download the next running all that. No, no, no. You just run that command. And 
If you don't know the package you're you're wanting, or you kind of have like an idea, you can do yay dash s lowercase s, and then like snap, and it'll tell you all the different ones. Or if you get too much, you're like, you know what? I really just kind of want to know um, installed things with snapped in it, installed with a capital, and it'll show everything that is installed with the you know snap portion in here, which I'm using snappy, which is another kind of cool benefit. Uh, which I'll get into in a later video, probably going over snapshots, as this has full snapshot capabilities. But before you go, check this out. I do have an image, or if you just love this script and just want to support me, go to christitus.com. From here, just click Downloads, and I do have Arch Titus right here. Uh, this is an actual image. If we go to the Download page, it's actually a clonezilla image to where you can just take it and drop it on your dot drive. I will say, I don't actually like this image as much. Yes, uh, it is a $5 donation to, to do this download, but honestly, you don't even need to do it. I highly recommend running the script because it does customize to your system. By using the image, you may not get, like, let's say you're running an NVIDIA driver, you're not going to get those NVIDIA drivers installed. But everything else will boot up, and it will use open source drivers until you install those drivers. And uh, if you do use the image on an NVIDIA system, just do yay s NVIDIA. And that uh, basically installs the NVIDIA package, and that installs. So that's, that's the gist of... Arch Titus, or, or really what it is, is Arch Linux using a script. I wanted more people to actually get in here and use it more, and I thought this would be a good compromise. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments, and I know this script is extremely complex and extremely long, but uh, let me know any issues you guys have. I'm sure we'll have some, but this should work for a majority of systems out there, and also be careful in running it. Again, we are dealing with hard disks here, and I do recommend a separate hard disk to boot from. Uh, nothing with Windows on it. No no uh, one hard disk, two systems. Uh, don't run this with just one hard disk. It'll end in tragedy. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.